<laughs> just come out of the gym yesterday, this morning. So uh, two old boys were talking and actually I thought they were, they were talking about something that we could all learn. Bear in mind, they're about 60s. So we are, well, I am in mid 40s. The, tr the key here, they were talking about health, but also um, and how obviously their knees have given up. Well, I say obviously, but uh, it's, it's quite common that people's knees, hips, whatever. Uh, one of them is 23 stones, so he's overweight. So you've got all of that going on. So he was, they were talking about um, health, status and it triggered me to kind of think well do we do we actually also think about financial health because guess what if you are 40s today and your pot of pension is probably in the region if you're lucky around half a million the estimate is you if you want to retire today you need to be around a million uh which is you are going to struggle to get to that level one second Pensions are working this way. So if you got, if you talk about state pension for a minute, state pension, whatever we are paying today is being used today to pay for things today. The idea is that our money that we be uh, we are um, contributing to the system to fix roads, to pay for the NHS, is also being used to pay for our parents' pension. That's how they get in the state pension. The challenge we have is the birth rate and the number of people expected to work when we get to an age of 67, which is what the pensionable age is, by the way, um, the number of people who are going to be working, contributing to the system and actually paying taxes enough to, for us to get our state pension is going to dwindle. And that's why, in a way, uh, like, like it, that immigration works because you need young people to come in and actually contribute to the system. So that's state pension. Talk about private pension. Well, you, you might be saying, you know, I've got loads of private pension. I've got, I've got it stashed away. So that's not doesn't uh, bother me about state pension. Well, actually, you should you should really consider what happened in two thousand and eight, seven and eight, and also two thousand in the two thousands in nineteen seventy four when there are crashes that happens in the stock market. Imagine you get to pensionable age and you are retiring in the, in the year of two thousand and seven or eight. On average, your pot would have probably gone down by half, somewhere around between half and uh, basically 25% to 50% decrease. So your pot of money that you have is actually has actually dwindled at the time that you needed the most. So the point is here, and going back to these two boys that were talking about it, they were talking about health. I'm talking about financial health. Have you, are you ready for your financial health? Well, have you got plans in place? Do not, do not, do not wait for the government to do this for you because this is not 1970s. This is not going to, I mean, actually, I don't even think the government did that much, um, but better than what they will be doing in the future. And currently, you've seen everything. Nothing works in this country. Uh, they were talking about the NHS, how they've been funding the, uh, well, they've been paid for the NHS while they were working. Now to try and get an appointment in the NHS is, is crazy. To get a consultant appointment is even worse. So they're having to self-pay. So you think this is today, and actually I, I do lay the blame to the last 12 years of Tory government here for sure, because they've starved it on purpose for the NHS to break so that people like them are talking about, well, we have to go private. But that's by the by. The point here is, ha have you or are you investing enough or planning for your exit whatever year that is because if you're not planning to exit you are going to be working till a very long time of your life so do some do some actual investigation about what you can do to achieve this financial freedom this ability to give up work or actually choose what work you do or how long you want to do it and it all starts with you you've got you know you cannot be lazy to uh, delegate this to other people you've got to do it yourself